Have you ever wondered how we can combine different directions and magnitudes to create a single, unified force? Well, the answer lies in the vector addition. Vector addition is an important concept in physics that allows to combine different vectors to obtain a resultant vector that captures the overall effect of all the individual vectors. Vectors are quantities that have both magnitude and direction and they can be represented graphically as arrows. To add two vectors, we place them head to tail and draw a new vector from the tail of the first vector to the head of the second vector. The resulting vector is called the sum, or the resultant of the vectors. But wait, there's more. When we add more than two vectors, things get even more interesting. In this case, we can use either the graphical method or the component method to find the resultant vector. The graphical method involves placing the vectors head to tail and drawing the resultant vector from the tail of the first vector to the head of the last vector. The component method involves breaking down each vector into its x and y components, adding the components separately, and then combining them to obtain the resultant vector. So whether you're a physicist or an engineer, understanding vector addition is a must.